this white background to get the best idea of the uh, color of the wine. Stick your nose right inside the glass and have a good long whiff. Like that. Like mouthwash? Yep. You want to expose the wine to your entire palate to get an accurate idea of what it tastes really? like. Really? Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Huh? Sounds good. <laughs> Not really. Don't blow it. It's a totally different taste than just taking a drink of wine. Different in a good way? Yes. Like it's like my whole mouth is like fresh. <gasps> Good? You like it? Good. And why did you choose this wine tonight to give to us? A sparkling wine is a nice way to start uh, an evening. If you take a, a, a light-bodied, aromatic white wine um, that has firm acid structure, you chill it well and have it before dinner, it gets your digestive system going and gets you looking forward to eating. You're gonna get a different wine with each course. Wine cellar was amazing. I could have asked Greg a million questions and he would have had all the answers, but now we're gonna go have our, our dinner. Five courses, five wines. Five courses, five wines. How do you like your wife's job now? It's great. Yeah. You know, Course number one, rice, big success. Tomato. Sauvignon Blanc paired with this. It was like bocconcini and tomatoes. It was delicious. I don't even think we got it with four shot because I just got it into me. It's amazing what the food does to the wine and what the wine does to the food. So definitely looking forward to course two, three, four, and five. There's course number two. We have the Wismer Valley Riesling from Taz to go with that. Round so, three. Round three. which is uh, sort of like a really sort of mouth-filling richness. Voila! Pinot Noir tends to go uh, really well with duck because it's kind of light to medium body in intensity and it's got a little bit of a pepperiness to it. I'm so full. Five courses, five wines, winemaker's dinner, you should do it. So now what we're going to do is they have live music in their pub which is called The Wild. We're going to have our dessert because we need dessert now. Over in the wild, Al Black is playing. Let's go check it out. Evidence right there. I, I feel like I'm gonna have to go be in a food coma, Greg. Lou, did you have fun? I'm not sure I enjoyed a, a meal ever in my life much more than that. See, that's why I brought my parents. I'll tell you the truth. It was amazing. Five thumbs up for Elmhurst.